Hey, what's up y'all? Today I got a couple of trucks to show you. Uh, a few of them are finished. Uh, and a few of them I gotta do some things to. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. So starting off, we got this K10 uh, rock collar that I'm trying things out with. Um, it's got flexing suspension. The design was obviously from one custom six diecast four on uh, Instagram. Uh, I don't think it's the same name anymore on his YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, he's back, so that's that's good. Um, yeah, pretty simple. It looks kind of stock M2. It's a little bit lower than the lifted stock M2 height, but. Like I said, it's got flexing suspension. This thing's probably going to get a whole new bed on it. And then it's probably going to be painted the same color as the truck you'll see later on in the video. But yeah, it works. It's a little bit softer because I bought smaller zip ties. But it works. I might do a side-by-side -side with one. So yeah, next up is the green OBS, the Dually, the Chevy, not the, the OBS you've seen a while back, which is somewhere. Uh, yeah, got different mirrors on it. I just decided I'm not going to repaint it. So yeah, you see the, you'll see a couple of parts where it the paint is not there or it's got glue but I might repaint it in the future but for right now I'm just gonna leave it um, oh I forgot to mention I did this during a live stream on my Instagram which is pretty cool um, same thing with this um, It's, you know, just a M2 square body with a green light service bed. This service bed um, was the same one that was on the the Hot Wheels second gen that I did a while back. Um, I tore it apart for obvious reasons because it was ugly. Um, kind of weathered up the cab a little bit. Uh, put a green light engine in it. Because the green light engines look a lot better than the shallow um, M2 ones that they have in there. Yeah. Yeah. I think this thing turned out good. I uh, just have to dull coat it and then put tow mirrors on it or something. But yeah. It's kind of squatted because the frame that I use was two different Chevy um, 3500 frames. So one of them's got the newer uh, lifted one where it's kind of higher. And then the other one is kind of the older one where it's, you know, still lifted but not as high. So it kind of has a squat to it. Um, the bed gap is, is on purpose like that. It's pretty... Pretty good size bed gap, but yeah, overall I think turned out pretty nice just for doing a build on a live stream. Um, I was planning on completely repainting this, but they told me uh, not to. Um, move that back there. Next up is pretty cool build. This uh, 76 M2 crew cab square body. Um, I don't know. Painted it the same blue as uh, the Mega Cab, except I did a lighter coat on this. So it would be a little bit lighter of a color. So I'm going to have to uh, uh, probably clear coat it. Um, but I need to fix the hood first because it's kind of got some orange peel to it because I painted the hood and the cab separately. So um, the cab light 
right there. Yeah, it looks terrible. Um, right there, the wheel goes back too far, but you can't really fix that unless you extend the frame, which I don't really want to do. Um, yeah, it looks, it looks decent, you know. If you look at it like that, it looks fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. This rock crawler, it's a little close, but this rock crawler is going to be the same color as that uh, flatbed. So yeah, just move that back in there. And then uh, last, but certainly not least, um, probably one of my cleanest builds. I still got to do some things to it, some minor things. Um, yeah, other than that, it's probably one of my cleanest builds. It's a 2015 LML Duramax. I kept calling it L5P for some reason. Uh, it's an LML, 2015 LML uh, Duramax short bed. Did it the right way. And what I mean by the right way is, you know, widening out the uh, 1500 bed. You guys seen it. Um, yeah, so then it would fit it. And when you do that, you can also make the tailgate open, which was, you know, it worked decently well. You can see there's a tiny little hole right there underneath the tail light where I cut too much with the, the blade, but I'm going to make another one of these and hopefully I can show how to do that because, uh, yeah, I want other people to do that because it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting actually, uh, to make your own tailgate. Um, the tailgate was from a dually. Um, yeah. And then you can see it's got the, you know, the inside of that bed. So it's got the, oh, yeah. It's got the detailing right here on the tailgate. Um, it's got bed liner to hide terrible body lines that none of us want to see. <laughs> um, it's got the Portland Carlover ranch hand. Um, if you're going to do this where the hood opens, you're going to have to, uh, sand the, the, uh, the windshield and the, um, the dash because the hood is kind of tall, but if I can get the hood to open, oh, it's, there we go. It's got a poorly built um, engine. I'm gonna have somebody else make me a LML Duramax, probably two. Um, it's some I kind of threw together, you know? It doesn't really look that great. Kind of looks like a small block Chevy for some reason. But uh, yeah, it is what it is for right now. Um, yeah. Sorry about that, the dogs are being very loud. Um, yeah, this thing is pretty nice. It, I did the best I could finding wheels for this thing. It's pretty much the same ones that were on the rock crawler, but these are beadlocks from the M2 OBS. Um, so those are different wheels, but it's the ones that were on the stock. Um, M2 uh, single cab square bodies. I think it looks good for a 2500 um, wheels. It's kind of lifted. It kind of has a rake to it. Um, I don't know. It's got a ranch hand on it, so it wouldn't be raking that much in real life, but you know, whatever. It's got traction bars fully built chassis well not fully still probably could do better um again i would 
I need to fix the bumper a little bit, but other than that, it's probably one of my best builds so far just because it's got, you know, the functions of a normal truck. Other than doors, I'm not even going to mess with doors. These are just stuff that I could have uh, done just, you know, with what I was working with. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Um, trying to convince a couple other people to make um, YouTube videos, so that should be good. Um, yeah, if I don't have to talk to y'all for a while, because I probably won't get very much done, then uh, have a good one.